T. Clark here, and this video is going to go over the AP Computer Science A 2023 4B um, question. So the final question in the box of candy um, is going to talk about this method, remove next by flavor. So what's going to happen is it's going to remove from the box and return that candy with flavor specified by the parameter, or null if no such piece is found. So if you don't find it, return null, and actually I have that already. So return null after everything is done. So I want to find the candy, and then I want to return it. So I'm going to return it at the end, and let's see what we got to do. So what's going on here? Okay, hide that. I thought screencast if I had two videos going or something. So I'm going to skip to this page B. Where's page B? Okay, so it says remove the next by flavor. Um, attempts to remove and return one piece of candy from the box. Okay, one at a time. Um, it'll only return one candy. Okay. The piece of candy to remove is the first piece of candy with flavor equal to the parameter flavor. So I'm trying to find the candy that equals the flavor that's encountered while traversing the candy box in the following order. Okay. The last row is traversed from left to right. So left to right. Okay. So left to right is normal, but last row first is not normal. So I'm going backwards maybe. So last row, left to right. Then the next to last row. So last row, then the next to last row first left to right. Okay, so again, it's so zero to four in this case um, until, and then keep going. So I think it's just backwards. So I think that's the only trick here is that we're going backwards, but we already did backwards when we removed stuff. Oh, well, in, in uh, number three, but we're going backwards for the rows. Okay, and then uh, until a piece of candy is found or the box is empty. So if the box is empty, it's null. Um, so let's see what happens. So if the remove by next method, it finds a candy object. The corresponding box element is assigned to null. All other box methods are, or elements, all other box spots are not changed. And the remove candy object is returned. Otherwise, it's empty and it's null. OK, we, uh, it's the same thing. OK, here's some it's three calls. So three consecutive calls. So let's see what happens. Uh, begins, always begins in the last row and first column of the box. So it always begins in 2, 0 in this case. So if I want to remove next flavor, and I'm saying cherry, it looks in the last spot, and actually that's the spot, so it removes that one. Done. It removes that one, and it uh, returns that candy. It doesn't return the word cherry. It returns the whole candy, right? It doesn't return a string. It returns the candy. Um, even though we're basically candy is a string, we still have to return the whole candy. Okay, then, then what do we do? Okay, so the next thing, next page. Remove the next one, which is lime. The next one, lime, is right. Uh, it looks like that one's different. So we went through the whole um, last row, right to left, and the next row, right to left, and remove this one. We're not going left, right, or I keep saying right to left. It's left to right, left to right, left to right. Okay, not right to left. I, I say it, but I'm going the right way. Okay, so left to right. I know my, my hands. So it removes this one because this one's first in this, in this row. If I'm going left to right. Yes. Okay. Got it. Got it right. <laughs> got it correct. Okay. So then I say it removes that one. It removed. Then if I say remove grape, here is looking, is looking, is looking. Goes to the next, uh, next to last one on the left, goes to the right. And the next to last one, left to right. And there's no grapes. So it returns null. And that's it. Okay. So. I want to loop backwards. So first things first, loop my row starts at the bottom. So the box is my box is my array dot length minus one. So that's the bottom row, right? There's three three rows. So the last one is two, three minus one. And I go as long as the rows are greater than or equal to zero. No space. So I'm going all the way to the zero, including the zero row. And I'm going backwards, so R minus minus, oh, what the heck, R minus minus, minus minus, no, just two. So I'm looping through my rows, every row. And in that row, I'm going from left to right. Okay, I got it right that time. So four into C equals the left one is zero, and then C is less than box bracket zero dot length. And then C plus plus. Okay, so from right to left, I start at zero. Or we'll add, 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 add. Double check and make sure it says last row first, and then left to right, and then left to right. Okay, so just just in order. Columns are in, in order like normal. So columns are normal. 
rows are backwards. Okay. But then what I'll do, I'll find um, find if the candy matches that flavor. But first, I actually made a mistake on this one. This was my big mistake. Before you can check the flavor, you have to check to see if there's actually a candy there. So you can't get the flavor if there's no candy there. So I have to say, is the box, does that box have a candy? So again, candy means it's not no. So you have to do this no check, otherwise it crashes. Um, you can't do no dot get flavor. So you have to see if it's no first. So is it not no? Is it a valid candy? And is that candy's flavor dot get flavor? Um, is it equal whoop, to the flavor that's in the parameter? So the flavor we're looking for. And again, you can't do this dot get flavor unless you've already checked to see if it's not no, right? If I do, um, if I check to see if there's a flavor there, there's no candy there. So I can't see if there's a flavor there. So that's what I messed up. And I only found it when I was doing, um, putting it into the code to see if, to get my main working. So when I wrote it out on paper, I got it wrong because I forgot that no check. And you have to do and, um, and again, it'll take priority if we're doing and, so it'll check the null first. And then if it's, if it is null, it won't do anything else. It'll break out of that um, logical comparison. But basically what I want to do, I want to get that candy. So if I find a candy that matches the flavor, so if there is a candy there, and if the candy's flavor equals a parameter flavor I'm looking for, then I want to say, okay, get that candy. That's my result. Candy result equals whatever is in box, current, current box, RC, if I could do it correctly. There we go. So I get my, my, get the candy and I say, okay, make that box empty now. So clear out box. That position is now no candy. And you have to do this, uh, you just set up the result first because you're setting a null and we do want to return it. We can't just return box RC because you have to get the candy. It's like you're taking the candy out and then making the box empty at the same time. And then the candy is now available for consumption, I guess, or whatever. I think that's it. So I got my candy, I set the box to null, and I return the candy. And then at the very end, like I had it already, if it's not found after the all the looping, then it's null. There's no, no candy of that flavor. And now if I run it, I should learn how to spell equals. That's what I should do. Look at my uh, reference sheet. Okay, and let's see what I got here. So I have a cherry. I see uh, I should match this these pictures here. So original one matches the first picture. Yeah, it looks good. Next one, lime, lime, lemon, orange, lime, lime. Looks good, looks good. And no cherry. Cherry's gone from here. That looks good right there. Okay, then the next one, oh, we got lime, lime, lemon still, orange, and then no lime right here. So I took that lime out. It looks like I took that lime out. And then there's nothing to return. I could have printed it again, but I don't, I don't want to go to the main. You don't have to worry about the main. This is looks like the full solution for 4B on the 2023 FRQs. Have a good day.